Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a found footage horror film, VHS, part 3. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins by showing found footage, titled Vicious Circles. In the footage, an aspiring videographer, Kevin, is recording his beautiful girlfriend while they are walking on the riverside. There, his girlfriend tells him that she loves it when he's recording her, so he keeps featuring her in his videos. She wonders why Kevin is fascinated with recording videos. It turns out that videography keeps him happy, despite the abuse he is receiving from her grandmother. One night, Kevin and his girlfriend are watching the news. It broadcasts that there is a police chase of an ice cream truck nearby their street. The ice cream truck appears to drive in circles in their neighborhood. Kevin badly wants to record the police chase, believing that it will go viral on the internet and will make him famous in return. Kevin decides to record it, despite the disapproval of his girlfriend. As the police chase passes through the house, Kevin rushes outside to record it. His girlfriend is watching the news, when she suddenly gets into a hypnotic state. Apparently, the ice cream truck is sending a series of footage that causes people who are exposed to it to get affected by its electromagnetic waves. As she is affected by this, she unconsciously walks outside. Kevin tries to call her back, but he loses sight of her when the ice cream truck passes in front of him. He eventually receives a call, where his girlfriend appears to be screaming for help. This prompts him to chase the ice cream truck, believing that it abducted his girlfriend. The first footage from the ice cream truck is titled Dante the Great. The footage features Dante, a normal guy in their neighborhood, who barely meets ends. He is known to perform simple tricks on their neighbors. Dante eventually came into possession of a cloak. It is rumored that the cloak formerly belonged to the great magician Houdini. As Dante manages to possess the cloak, he is able to perform complicated magic tricks. The cloak then changes Dante's life forever, as the complicated magic tricks make him famous. Apparently, Dante's magic cannot be found on the internet, which makes it completely unique. One night, Dante notices that he can no longer perform magic. As he expresses his frustration, he hears a demonic whisper, telling him that he needs to feed the cloak to gain power. It turns out, Dante's magic is really magic, and it comes from the cloak's power. Dante then lures women to his house and feeds them to the cloak's demon in order to sustain its power. He utters a chant, and the demon comes out to devour its victim. At this point, Dante's assistants become missing, with no traces left. Scarlet is now Dante's assistant, who wants to learn how to do magic. As Dante forms a special relationship with Scarlet, he uses the cloak to annihilate her abusive boyfriend. Scarlet eventually finds out that Dante is responsible for the disappearance of her boyfriend and the other assistants through the tape. She then surrenders the tapes to the police, leading the police to arrest Dante while he is in an interview. The policeman handcuffs him and puts him in the police car. Despite that, Dante magically frees himself in a snap. He then utilizes the cloak's power to grab Scarlet from the interrogation room back to the theater. This causes Scarlet to disappear instantly in front of the interrogator. Scarlet accuses Dante of murdering her boyfriend. As they are arguing, the SWAT team arrives to arrest him again. To avoid being arrested, he uses his magic power to break the bones and destroy the bodies of the SWAT officers. He then controls one of the officers' bodies to shoot back against the remaining SWAT. As one of the SWAT officers shoots Dante, he instantly manages to switch places with the officer. So Dante survives, and he defeats the SWAT officers. However, Scarlet fights back against him by stealing the magic cloak. This leads the two to fight each other, trying to possess the cloak. As Dante gets the cloak back, he pushes Scarlet away, and he utters the chant to summon the demon. In response, Scarlet uses the magic trick taught by Dante to restrain him. She then feeds Dante into the demonic cloak, making him disappear without a hormone trace left. The investigators continue to search for him, while his mother believes that he will come back soon. Scarlet eventually burns the cloak, hoping to get rid of it. But one night, she is surprised to find the cloak back in her room. She checks it, and in the end, the cloak demon eats her and her smelly part. The scene then moves back to the vicious circle footage. There, Kevin continues to chase the ice cream truck, which constantly drives in circles in their neighborhood. The dangerous electromagnetic waves coming from the tapes in the ice cream truck is affecting more people, causing their nose to bleed. Meanwhile, Kevin calls the attention of a biker gang to help him stop the ice cream truck. At first, the biker gang is hesitant to help him, but they eventually help him after one of their members gets dragged by the ice cream truck. The member gets dragged by it until his legs are mutilated, leading to his death. The scene then transitions to the second footage, titled Parallel Monster. A technological inventor, Alfonso, works late at night on his latest invention. His wife, Marta, advises him to sleep since it is already late, but he is too obsessed to make the invention work. 
He tests the invention, which turns out to be a portal device to the parallel universe. The portal appears to work, as Alfonso sees another version of himself on the other side of the portal. It seems that Alfonso and his parallel version live the same life, since everything around them appears to be the same. His parallel version also invented a portal, causing them to meet. They also share the same name, and they also have the same wife. The two then are in a moment of amazement to discover each other. Curious to discover more about the lives of their parallel version, Alfonso and the parallel Alfonso agree to cross the portal to check each other's lives. The two then agree to meet at the portal after 15 minutes. The real Alfonso walks upstairs, and he immediately finds a photo of a satanic ritual on the wall, which is different from his house. He then meets the parallel Marta upstairs. She introduces him to two men that don't exist in his own universe. After that, Marta asks him to join them inside the room. There, the real Alfonso finds that there is ritual paraphernalia, similar to the photo he saw earlier. As they sit on the couch, a satanic video is playing on the television, while an image of a constellation is flashed on the ceiling. The parallel Marta tells him to go first, but he appears to be confused about what he needs to do, since the ritual is not part of his real life. The two men then decide to go back to another day to perform the ritual. As the real Alfonso and the parallel Marta are left alone, a loud noise and bright flash of light from outside scare the shit out of him. This prompts him to rush outside to escape. There, he discovers a blimp passing through. It loudly announces a demonic chanting. He records it, and the two men find him. They think that he is recording them, so they confront him. During that time, their eyes turn bright red, scaring the real Alfonso. This forces him to run, but the two men chase him and reveal their monstrous hormone organs in front of him. It turns out, the two men want to engage in a hormone game. In response, he stabs the hormone organ and rushes back to the portal, but he encounters the parallel Marta inside the house. She thinks that he wants to engage in a smelly workout with her. She then reveals her own monstrous hormone organ to him. He instantly punches her, and he continues running to the portal. Meanwhile, the parallel Alfonso gets aroused by his constant observation of the real Marta, who is completely asleep. So the parallel Alfonso reveals his hormone organ to the real Marta. She wakes up, but is completely scared to see it. Soon after, the real Alfonso manages to jump back to his world through the portal. He encounters the parallel Alfonso, who is covered in blood. The parallel Alfonso then stabs him and jumps back to the parallel universe. There, the angry parallel Marta awaits him. She then devours him, using her monstrous hormone organ. The real Alfonso closes the portal, and he tries to search for the real Marta. However, his injuries keep him immobile. He keeps calling his wife. Unfortunately, the scared Marta repeatedly stabs him to death, thinking that he is the parallel Alfonso, who has a monstrous hormone organ. The scene then moves back to the footage from Vicious Circles. There, Kevin is still chasing the ice cream truck out of desperation to save his girlfriend. Despite the chaos in the neighborhood, a Hispanic community is holding a barbecue party to celebrate their comrade, who was recently released from prison. The surveillance helicopter passes through the party, and one of them thinks that he is about to get arrested. He then believes that his girlfriend turned him into the police, causing him to act violently. Suddenly, the radio sends dangerous electromagnetic signals, causing disruption to nearby devices. This affects their guest, who gets furious after the party commotion causes an injury to his dog. The guest instantly punches one of them. After a few moments, the guest manages to fatally stab everyone at the party using the forks. After that, the surveillance helicopter witnesses a large explosion at the barbecue party. The scene then transitions to the third footage titled Bone Storm. At the beginning of the footage, a skateboard duo named Boy 1 and Boy 2 hires a videographer to record their tricks. After Boy 2 performs a dangerous trick, the videographer pretends to be unable to record it, forcing Boy 2 to repeat the trick. It then becomes apparent that the videographer hopes that they get injured, so he can sell the footage of them being injured during a trick. One day, the skateboard duo is in the skate park when they suddenly get involved in a fight. The videographer rushes to record it as the two manage to beat up their opponents. After that, the videographer convinces the two to film their skateboard tricks out of town. The two hesitate, thinking that there are a lot of drug cartels there. But the videographer makes them believe that it is completely safe there. They then go on a trip out of town with their friend, who lends them money through his dad's credit card. When they arrive there, they have a trip and buy some fireworks. They then sneak to a compound, thinking that it is a perfect spot to perform tricks. Strangely enough, the ground shakes as they walk there. There they see a small monument, and the friend pours beer into it. There is also a pentagram in the middle and another monument beside it. This makes them think that the place is strange. Despite that, they continue performing tricks. Boy 1 gets injured after performing a trick, and his blood drops on the pentagram. 
The blood boils into vapor, and out of nowhere, a lady with garlands appears in the middle. Then several people in creepy masks slowly approach them. The lady instantly breaks the videographer's arm, making him scream in pain. A man chants a prayer, and another man shows a sign to them, saying that they will unearth a beloved creature. As the men in creepy masks attempt to grab them, they fight back by smashing them with their skateboards and shooting at them. Weirdly enough, the men are bleedy black. The blood on the floor burns up, causing the bleeding videographer to be set on fire. They continue to fight back as more men flock toward them, but the men manage to kill their friend. At this point, Boy 1 and Boy 2 remain to beat the shit out of the zombie-looking men. As it appears that they finally beat everyone, the zombie-looking men resurrect as a skeleton, and they continue attacking them. The two rush back to get their fireworks. They fire it up to push the skeletons away, allowing themselves to escape. In the end, a monster is summoned into the area, and it eats the shitty videographer. The scene then moves back to the footage of vicious circles. The news announces that there are several fire breakouts in the city as more people get affected by the dangerous electromagnetic waves. Kevin tries to stop a taxi in desperation to catch up with the ice cream truck, but the taxi driver keeps driving. Inside the taxi, a pornographer is tricking a woman into strip teasing in front of his camera. Out of nowhere, the woman pulls out a gun and instructs the pornographer to take his clothes off in front of the camera. As the pornographer shamefully strips, the woman reveals that he's responsible for leaking her private video on the internet. As he manages to choke her back, a police car crashes the taxi, leading to their death. Meanwhile, Kevin follows a trail of phones and the ice cream truck music, leading him to the dried up river in the city. He finds the ice cream truck, but it is already abandoned. Inside, he finds a television set showing live footage inside the ice cream truck. His girlfriend appears on the television and talks to him through it. She instructs him to press the upload button. Once activated, the footage that causes people to be mentally insane will be uploaded to the internet. Kevin expresses his hesitation to do it. His girlfriend then keeps smashing her head into the wall unless Kevin presses the upload button. This forces Kevin to press the upload button, causing the footage to be uploaded to the internet. As the footage is uploaded, his girlfriend continues smashing her head into the wall while declaring that the footage will go viral. Kevin walks out of the truck and he finds his girlfriend outside. His girlfriend's face appears to be destroyed with a phone inside her smelly mouth. Kevin grabs the phone and music plays, causing his nose to bleed. The footage eventually goes viral, causing more people to be mentally insane. In the end, the city is in utter chaos, as its residents are drowned by insanity caused by the viral footage. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.